Today I'm going to show you a blip creator script created by this person. It comes with a nice UI that allows you to create and manage the blips directly from within your server. The use of the menu supports whitelisted IDs or keeping permissions and comes with preset options to make the creation simple and easy. I'll leave a link to the resource in the description. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Once you're there, hit the green code and download zip. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources and add it in. Then go to your server config and ensure it. The next thing to look at is the config. So go back to the resource folder. and open the config. The first option here is for using the QB permission system and the level that's allowed to use the command, followed by the option to use the whitelist system and the identifiers for people with permission. As you can see, all five of my identifiers are supported, so you can add whoever you want following the format. There are also commands in the readme you can use in-game to manage whitelisted individuals as well. Next is the command to open the menu, followed by the default blip settings and the common colors for quick selection. Then there are the blip categories with the name and sprites or icons in the category. And there are quite a few of them. That's followed by backwards compatibility options, the database table name, and an option to use the extended sprite list. If you made changes, be sure to save them, then start your server and test it out. If this video was helpful, consider supporting my work by ordering a VPS or transferring your current one of one of one servers using the link below. Created by the team behind Project Sloth, one of one servers is a top VPS provider for popular 5M servers delivering unmatched uptime and performance. They offer the best DDoS protection, super fast 10 gigabit per second internet speed, and exceptional support via Discord and tickets with 96% of tickets answered in under 30 minutes. With locations in Dallas, Ashburn, Chicago, and Europe, they ensure low latency and top tier reliability. The default command is blips, and once the menu is open, you can see the created blips and search through them, create a new one, or edit the nearest blip. When you go to create a blip, you're prompted with fields to fill out, starting with the blip name. So I'm going to call this skydiving. Then you can filter through the sprites based on what you want to create, and there's an option to see all of them. Then there's an option to make it short ranged, and below that is where you choose the sprite or enter a custom sprite ID. So I'm going to choose the parachute. Then there are the color options. You can choose from the drop down, choose from the colors displayed, or enter a custom color. So I'm going to do a green. And the last thing is the scale or how big or small you want it to be. And once you have all that done, click create blip. It lets you know it was successfully created. And there it is there on the map. If you use the command again, you'll see the blip you created with the information and an option to edit or delete it. If you want to manually put the information in, I left the link in the description to the site for blips, where you can find a sprite and color. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. If you have suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.